वेलकम बैक इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व प्रॉब्लम एट डैश ट्वेंटी नाइन दैट इज़ फ्रॉम चैप्टर एट कम्बाइंड लोडिंग एंड द बुक नेम इज़ मैकेनिक्स ऑफ मटीरियल बाई आर सी हिबलर सो स्टेटमेंट इज डिटरमाइन द मैक्मम लोड पी दैट कैन बी अप्लाइड टू द स्लिंग हैविंग अ नेगलेजिबल थिकनेस सो दैट नॉर्मल स्ट्रेस इन द पोस्ट डज नॉट एक्सीड थर्टी मेगा पासकल द पोस्ट हैज़ डायमीटर ऑफ फिफ्टी मिलीमीटर सो यू कैन सी दिस इज़ अ सिलेंड्रिकल पोस्ट हैविंग डायमीटर ऑफ 50 मिलीमीटर एंड यू हैव टू फाइंड दिस पी दैट कैन बी अप्लाइड टू दिस स्लिंग ऑफ नेगलिजिबल थिकनेस एंड अलाउेबल स्ट्रेस इन दिस पोस्ट शुड बी इक्वल टू 30 मेगा पासकल इट शुड नॉट एक्सीड 30 मेगा पासकल सो लेट स्टार्ट विद द सोल्यूशन सो फर्स्ट स्टेप इज दैट इफ यू कट द बीम Uh, our uh, cylindrical post over here and draw the free body diagram so it will be like this okay so at this end we have a load of p clear this diameter is given as 50 mm 50 mm and if you draw the center of for this cylindrical post so this distance will be equal to 50 divided by 2 which is equal to 25 mm and when you cut it you will be having a shear force horizontal shear force there will be a normal force that will act on the central line of this cylindrical post which is n this is v and there will be a movement about this axis let this axis is x so we will find this uh, by using uh, some of all forces along x direction must be equal to 0 and force taken in this direction is positive so you can see horizontal force is only v there is no other force so v is equal to 0 now we will find this vertical force by using this equation of equilibrium that sum of all forces along y direction must be equal to 0 and upward force is taken as positive so p and n are acting vertically so p is upward so p positive and n is downward that is equal to 0 so from here we will get n is equal to p now we will find this moment so sum of all moment about x axis is equal to 0 and taking the counter clockwise moment as positive so about this axis we have one moment is reaction moment which is counter clockwise so i will write plus m and the second moment is this load into perpendicular distance is 25 mm and this is producing clockwise moment so it will be negative so minus p times this 25 mm which in meter in term of meter is 0.025 is equal to 0 so it means that pm moment is equal to 0.025 times p now you have all these reaction forces and moment so you can see that due this is a case of combined loading you have a normal force n if we if we move this p to this axis so it will be equal to p is equal to n and you will have a moment as well so due to this normal loading we have uh, p divided by normal stress and due to this moment we will having a bending stress so we will write combined loading combined loading and this combined loading is equal to p divided by a plus minus m into y divided by i so if you look at this figure and draw the cross section circular cross section so this is your horizontal axis and this is your vertical axis so this point b is this one this is point a clear so we are we, we have given that allowable stress is 30 mega pascal that is maximum so we will take this this is point c so this is allowable stress which is at point c and we can see this is equal to p by a plus m into y divided by i 
now you can put the value p is not available so p by a a is pi by pi r square so pi into r is 50 millimeter which is 0 0.025 uh, r is uh, diameter is 50 r is equal to 25 millimeter which is equal to 0 0.025 meter square plus a moment which is 0 0.025 times p divided by i which is pi by 4 r power 4 so 0 0.025 power 4 into y y is distance from neutral axis till point c so you can see this is the radius which is 0 0.025 meter so i will multiply it 0 0.025 meter and that is equal to allowable stress which is 30 megapascal so 30 into 10 to power 6 so when you solve this at the end you will get uh, 30 into 10 to the power 6 will be equal to p divided by 0 0.625 into 10 to the power minus 3 pi plus 0 0.025 square into p divided by 97.6562 into 10 to the power minus 9 times pi so when you solve this you will get at the end p will be equal to 11.8 kilo newton which is the answer of this problem i hope you will be able to solve this one divided by this will give you p and this term divide by this will give you some factor into p and when you add both them that will be that will be any value and at the end you get you will get p and that was all about this problem 8-29 i hope you have enjoyed this video and you have learned from it those who are new to my channel then subscribe it and press the bell icon so that you can get notification about my latest videos if you have any question, you can ask me in comment section. Thank you for watching.